Hey guys, what's up? Today it's time to wrap up January and to show you all the books I read in the month of January. But before I get to the books, let me just say I completed my TBR challenge for the month of January. Huzzah! And a book falls over. I did it. I completed a TBR. You guys don't even know I am so terrible at TBR piles, but I completed my to be read pile and I'm so happy about it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing a TBR challenge this year at the beginning of each month, I challenge myself to read a set amount of books, and if I read those books, I get to reward myself, and if I don't read those books, then I have to do some terrible challenge. So I will leave a link down below to my TBR challenge for January if you want to know what that's all about. But I thought that I would start this video off by showing you guys my reward, the thing that I rewarded myself with. I actually bought this before I had completed my TBR challenge, but I didn't use them. I didn't use them at all. And that reward is these Big Hero 6 bookmarks from Crafted Van. They are so cool. Like, I am just obsessed with these suckers. If you don't know what Crafted Van is, it's this really awesome Etsy store that make these incredible bookmarks, and I'm just kind of obsessed with them right now. So I rewarded myself with these Big Hero 6 bookmarks, even though I bought them before I completed my challenge. I didn't use them, so now I can use them because I completed my TVR challenge. Ah. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. I'm going to show you guys the books I read in the month of January. The first book I read this month was actually a graphic novel, and that was, whoa, Blankets by Craig Thompson. This graphic novel was not what I expected it to be going into this. I thought that it was just going to be about a relationship that takes place during the winter time because the cover leads you to believe that that's what it's going to be about, but it was so much more than that. It has a major focus on religion, which was really interesting, and it's also just kind of about this guy trying to figure out who he is and what he's all about and what he wants to do with his life. I don't think I was necessarily sold on the story, but I loved the artwork inside this graphic novel. It was so beautiful, full of amazing images. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as a starting point for graphic novels, but if you love graphic novels and you haven't checked out Blankets yet, I would highly suggest checking it out. And the next book I read was Ah, Half Bad by Sally Green. This book has been sitting on my shelf for quite some time now, so I was trying to figure out what books I was going to read this month, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what? This is the month that I will conquer you, and that I did. And I read it, and I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would, unfortunately. If you don't know what Half Bad is about, it's about this world where black witches are evil and white witches are good. And we follow this boy named Nathan, who is both a black witch and a white witch. He's in between. He's a half code. Nathan is also the son of one of the most evil witches in all of the land, and he takes it upon himself to go and find his father. But it's not that easy because Nathan is in a cage and is monitored at all times, so he must find a way to escape and go find his father. While I enjoyed my time reading this book and I thought it was a very simple and fun read, I also was very underwhelmed by it. The characters were a bit dry, the world was underdeveloped, and there really wasn't too much to this plot. But I I really enjoyed my time reading this book. It only took me a few days to read it. It was a very simple read, and I'm glad that I read it, and I will be continuing on with this trilogy. Also, I did a full-fledged book review on this video, so if you want to check that out, then click on this book and it'll take you to that review. Click it, click it, click it. Click it. Click it. Then I read the graphic novel, Wah! Explorer, The Mystery Boxes. And this is a bunch of different short stories from several different graphic novel artists. They each had to write a story about a box. It was really interesting, and I actually really enjoyed this graphic novel. It was definitely aimed at a younger audience, but I still really loved it. I think my favorite story within this was Under the Floorboards, which is by Emily Carroll, who also wrote one of my favorite graphic novels ever, and that is Through the Woods. She just has this amazing art art style and it's very creepy and eerie and I love the stories that she tells. I would recommend this graphic novel if you like the Amulet series and it's actually edited by the same guy who created the Amulet series. So if you like Amulet, definitely check this out. And then I read, wah, Cinder, it's going down. I'm yelling Cinder. And this is a Cinderella retelling with cyborgs, and it's awesome. I love this book so much. I was not expecting to like this book at all. I was going into it like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna like that very much. I was very hesitant even picking this book up, but then I picked it up and I freaking loved it. It was so good. I actually did a full review on this, so if you want to go check that out, then click on this here book. It was fantastic. The characters are amazing. The world is so fascinating. And I'm definitely excited to continue on with this series. And then I read wow, The Boundless by Kenneth 
Opel. And this book is about a boy named Will who goes on a journey on the world's longest train. It's just so long. And on this journey, he witnesses a murder. And the murderer who's committing the murder witnesses Will witnessing the murder. Did that make sense? I think it did. I hope it did. Anyways, this murderer then starts chasing after Will, so Will must find a way to hide and run away from this murderer while on this train. This was such an adventurous story full of mystery and magic, and I thoroughly enjoyed my time reading it. I think the one thing that I didn't like about it was the pacing is a little bit slow, but other than that, it was really great. And I did a full review on this book as well, so if you want to clickety-click on this book, it'll take you to a review that I did for The Boundless. Yes. And the last book I read was the best book I read all month, and that is, ah, Mistborn, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Oh my heck, this book blew my brains. It just blew my brains out. I read this for the Booksplosion, Mistsplosion read-along this past month, and I'm so glad we picked this as the book of the month because it just pushed me to read it, and I'm so glad that I finally read it. I wish I would have read it sooner because it was just so good. The characters are amazing, so amazing, the best, and they're such great character development through this book. I can't even tell you. The character development that you see is just incredible. And the magic system is crazy amazing. The magic system is so cool. It's called Allomancy, and basically these people ingest metals and then these medals give them abilities, and it's just so cool. Go read this book if you haven't read it. I did a full review on this book, so if you want to go check that out, then click on this book and go watch it, and go buy this book and read it because it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. So those are the books that I read in the month of January. You guys should let me know down below what your favorite book was that you read in the month of January. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Later. Meh. Stay up. I will leave a link below to my TBR challenge for January. You guys can go, ah, oh, stay up, you little turd. So I will leave a link down below to my TBR challenge for January. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started with my wrap up. Ah. 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 Ah.